Hello, Aviating Muskrat here. Welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. And I believe I will be getting my Pokemon now. Millie, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? I'm going to try to go with the grass type. Wait and see what it does. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? I'm going to go with grass again. Protect. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Uh, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? I would answer Ampharos. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question. So, answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Well, we gotta be the very best. No question about it, I'm gonna be a Pokemon master. And nobody's gonna stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Millie? You seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. Know that the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you, Orchinx is the best pick. Orchinx. Go ahead and take it, Millie. Millie obtained Orchinx. Would you like to give a nickname to Orchinx? We'll nickname the next one. Hey, I'm tired of waiting! Millie got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. Theo? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself? Completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young. I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Elitux is the best pick. Is that... I would assume it's water, but... Elitux, I would... Water and lightning? Electric? Huh. Yes, my first Pokemon! Little jerk pushed me out of the way. Millie, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too! You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. Too late, we're battling. Millie versus Theo. Go, Orchinx! Go, a whole bunch of leg. <laughs> Static? Are you kidding me? Or 
Power Chanks is dead. Uh, I lost. And 40 bucks. <laughs> yes, my first win. My Pokemon and me are gonna be the best, coolest team in Tandor. Millie, you are nothing compared to me. Nothing! Ha 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 ha! I gotta show Dad. Little twerp. <laughs> Millie, I'm surprised you managed to lose that fight. Oh, shut up. Just rub it in. You must have noticed that your starter has a type advantage over Theo's. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Normally, in a matchup like that, it's a foregone conclusion. Or maybe you let him win on purpose. That, that's what happened, yup. If you did, that's kind of you. He talks a big game, but I get the feeling he wouldn't take it so well if he lost his first ever battle. You seem to be holding up alright though. Here, let me heal your Pokemon quickly. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 1, by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokémon. See you later, Millie! I can't believe I got static. Ah, that blows. Okay, let's show Anti our Pokémon. Orchinx. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What's it called? Watchinx? That's so cute. Come back when you need a rest, or if you just want to humor your old aunt. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Theo's certainly in a good mood. He showed me his starter Pokemon, and told me how proud he was, that he finally beat you. I trust he didn't take it too hard. My son is very energetic, and, well, he has his heart set on winning. Although, I have to ask, did you let him win on purpose? Yes. I suppose I should thank you. You've certainly caused him to begin his journey on a high note. Although, he'll have a rough time of it when he encounters his first loss. Not everyone will go easy on him like you did. <laughs> Losing is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He will have to learn that sooner or later. Oh, Millie is here. Are you looking for a rematch? Cause I ain't gonna give you one. I won fair and square, ha <laughs> ha! Theo, don't be rude. You and Millie will see a lot of each other on your journeys to come. So you'll need to get along. Oh, I nearly forgot, Millie. Theo, I have something for both of you. L like a present? Yes, exactly. Millie, your father Kellen sent me these and told me to give them to both of you when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will become... it will come useful. You will receive Pokepod. A Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool! <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Millie. Well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Millie, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get a move on too. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, 
I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Best of luck on your journey, Millie. Here they are. Hey there, Millie. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field research aide. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves, in water, and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... What's that? Look, it's a wild chin monk. They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Raptorch! This little guy was, uh, was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taken a shine to me, and I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Raptorch, you scratch! Now that it's weekend, now is my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go! And that's how it's done. Now, Chin Monk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. Millie, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still gonna be the, the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. I think I was supposed to win. He thinks mine is stronger. <laughs> okay, let's catch a chin monk. Can catch myself a chin monk. Gotcha. Chinmonk's dad was added to the Pokedex. The length of Chinmonk's stripes determines its authority in a group. If it spots a predator, it shrieks loudly to warn others. Stripes, huh? Are the stripes on its back? I don't see any stripes. Yes, its name will be... Grummel. Okay, didn't register the R, so it's just Gommel. Okay, I'm gonna call this one right here. I'm gonna try to find if there's some way I can reduce the lag. But anyways, be sure to tune in for the next episode, and thanks for watching.